How to make new sound posts. This video will describe equipment used and demonstrate procedure. Tools we use. Fine tooth saw, cutting block with saw guide, sound post made Pro 2 Plus setter and model G3 gauge. We shall also use masking tape, scissors, a ruler, a pen and inspection light. Now we will describe each tool and its function. Sound post gauge SMG3 or G3 Pro consists of main body which is a cylinder and a piston that can extend or reduce the length. The end of main cylinder has a bow that can accept a cup that can swivel when pushed against any surface. Once the angle is established, a resolution plate is magnetically attached to the cup. When using the gauge, a line across the side of the gauge should point to the shortest side of violin. This will point in which direction a resolution plate should be attached. Sound post mate setter. Model Pro 2 Plus. It has an extension arm that can be lowered to point directly to the sound post. It can also be used to control the sound post gauge. Sound post made cutting block. Made from non magnetic stainless steel. The engraved center line provides reference for sound post gauge measurements and is also mounting line for sound post blank that needs to be cut. When sound post blank is properly mounted and held firmly in position, we place the saw guide over the blank and we are ready to trim the ends. Two removable anchor pins at bottom, when matched with two holes on workbench, will help steady the block while sewing. To start cutting block setup, we begin by removing anchor pins. Apply two pieces of tape about inch and a half long, one on each side of the anchor bolt. Identify each end of sound post B for bottom or back and T for top or belly side. Using mounting groove as reference, draw a fine center line on each tape. Alternatively, Cut the center line with a sharp knife for accuracy. Preparing the violin. You may leave the bridge on. If so, then keep strings loose and move each string out of the way. Then place a little marker over the sound post position. Adjust setter to make sure the handle extension and the gauge are perfectly in line. Measuring length. Set the gauge slightly longer than needed. Push it into the deepest part of the violin. Keep extension arm over the top and adjust. Do not overshoot. And 
here it is, make sure everything is absolutely vertical. Now we copy the length. Using fine point pencil. Make a mark. Transfer the cutting block to the other side and using that fine point pencil make the other mark. We have the length. Alternatively, cut the tape on the opposite end of the mounting block and remove the corner. And to measure angle at the bottom, keep the gauge short, make sure the index line is shown pointing towards the side, insert in the violin, keep everything absolutely perpendicular, push down to set up the gauge, Lift up, carefully withdraw, not to disturb the angle, and we are done. Keep the gauge away from magnets. Carefully set the gauge at the center line of the cutting block with resolution plate aligned with the end mark at the B side. Mark position at each end of resolution plate. Draw angle line making sure it crosses the end mark. To measure angle at top, keep the gauge short, mount at the bottom, get in the right place, keep absolutely vertical, push up to set the angle, push down, withdraw very carefully. And we're done. There is also an easy way to measure the angle. Make sure the index line points towards the side. Place the gauge over the mark. Push slightly and keep the gauge absolutely vertical. And we're done. Copying top angle. And this time we will use alternative way to copy the angle. Align a ruler close to resolution plate, remove the gauge and draw angle line. Preparing the samples blank. Mark lower side of blank consistent with wood grain. When mounting sound post blank, make sure the sound post stays in the mounting groove. Bottom mark points towards short side and end grain is parallel with the cutting block. and tighten pressure nut and we are ready to cut. Make sure the saddle of cutting block rests against far side of the sound post. While we are cutting I will mention a few words about sound post. Spruce is popular wood to use here. Sound post should be thick enough and well fitted but also should be dry and light. If drying is needed, 
do it before cutting. In most cases, 15 to 30 seconds in microwave oven is all that is needed to dry without burning the wood. Finally, if sound post is very thick or F-hole is narrow, the best way to install the sound post is to first insert the tool through the F-hole, then partially insert sound post and clamp it in the tool. Now we deburr and are ready to try. Quick check, hope it's not too short. If the sound post is a fraction of a millimeter too long, then put it back exactly the, what, the way it was in the fixture and use a knife to cut the excess. Now all we need to do is install the sound post and tighten strings and we're done. Thank you for watching.